Hey guys, it's your boy Mikey, and uh, I know you're not seeing any uh, gameplay or anything, but I'm in my car right now. I'm not home at the moment. I'll be home uh, in a little bit, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the weekend, man. It's been a busy, busy week, but it's all going good. So anyway, unexpected news I saw yesterday, uh, last night. My boy Chase Elliott, who's my uh, current favorite NASCAR driver, is going to be changing numbers, and William Byron who was originally going to be in the five car taking over Casey Kane's ride is uh, going to be in the 24 next year and that leaves Chase Elliott is going to be in his dad's number the number nine Napa Chevrolet and when I first heard about this I was heartbroken but at the same time I was kind of excited because I mean, one, I think I heard Chase Elliott said one time that he always wanted to keep driving the number nine because that's what his dad always drives. And I was a big Bill Elliott fan growing up when I first got into the sport of NASCAR. And I was always a Gordon fan. I always will be my favorite Gordon fan. But um, I wish nothing but the best for Will and Byron. Uh, I know I said in my previous videos that I've been kind of hard on him. I don't know. I don't think I've been kind of hard. It just. You're just rushing the kid. I'm like, dude, he just fucking graduated high school. I mean, give him... I mean, I know he's been putting on a show on the uh, Xfinity uh, this year, but... I mean, if he can keep up the consistency coming next year, then we'll see, okay? But, shit, dude. He's not even fucking 20. He just turned 19, I think. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, so Will Byron will be in the uh, 24 next year. Chase Elliott will be changing numbers to the 9 tell you what I kind of I just got myself a Chase Elliott 24 clinch bag that I wear take with me every single day to the gym on my bicycle rides to wherever I go it's like my little backpack okay and I had a Gordon one for forever and I ever since Chase Elliott drove the 24 uh, when he came with the cup I just got an upgrade to Chase Elliott and now what the fuck am I gonna do with that <laughs> But I do have a Chase Elliott number nine uh, Napa hoodie that uh, he was, uh, was driving number nine back when he was in the uh, Xfinity. So honestly, I'm happy for Chase. He gets to drive his uh, dad's number. I mean, I know it's just a number, but I mean, if you look in the sports history, Dale Sr., he drove the two in the beginning of his career. Rusty Wallace, he's known for driving the two. Dale Sr., he was known for driving the three. Uh, freaking Russell Wallace. He was he drove the t number twenty seven for a while. Then he went to number two. I mean, and you look at uh, Dale Jarrett. Uh, he went to eighteen eighty eight. I mean, a lot of these Hall of Fame NASCAR drivers had different numbers or multiple, I mean even more than three numbers. Uh, Kurt Busch, freaking ninety seven to fifty one to two to forty one to seventy. I think I named them all right there. So. I'm still going to be repping my boy Chase because I, I always like Bill Elliott and I, I'm still a big fan of Chase Elliott. So I'm still going to rep in number nine. Uh, the 24, I wish nothing but the best for William Byron. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm not like one of those fans saying that, oh, they should retire uh, like Dale Sr.'s number three number or they should retire Gordon's number because Chase nine. I'm like, you know what? I don't fucking care. I'm glad it's still around. Um, so yeah, but... I'm still going to be repping my boy, Chase. Uh, I'm hoping he'll get at least one win this year before he goes to change numbers uh, in 2018. But, again, we'll just have to see. I'm looking forward to the uh, throwback NASCAR race this weekend. And uh, looking back to for uh, college football. And I know I'm wearing this. I should put a whole bunch of Monday dollar signs over because of my boy Matthew Stafford. But that's another day, another discussion. So... Anyway, I'm about to head back out, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.